Okay guys, so for tortillas, I like to use these corn blue chips. They are 100% organic and they are made with non-GMO ingredients. And as you guys know, corn mostly comes blue and that is an original color that's not dyed or anything like that. Next, I've never had these before, but these are um, chicken sausage. We're gonna use these for breakfast sausages as well because most breakfast sausages are pork and you know, we guys don't eat pork, we don't eat pork. And these only have a few uh, ingredients and all of them, as you can see, are like natural. Yeah, this is my favorite veggie um, burgers period and this is Amy's California veggie burger. And everything in here is organic. They are pricey. These are like six, seven dollars, but they are worth it. Next, I got these low carb, low sodium wraps. And these are basically for like my low carb eating and they have a lot of ingredients in there and some preservatives. So these are not like the best actually, but um, they could be a lot worse. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip on cheese. Um, it's always best to avoid like the yellow cheese because the yellow cheese of course has to have a natto in it to make it yellow. And mozzarella cheese is a little bit lower in fat. But the thing about it is if you really want to go healthy, get the block. Because the block is going to have less ingredients than your typical shred. And the reason being is because the shred has something in here I'm going to show you guys called um, cellulose powder. And I'm going to tell you that that is wood shavings. Cellulose powder is wood. Yes, wood in your food. So we still get it anyways because, you know, I just do. But I got this as well. Next, we are trying out these Applegate Naturals. Um, they have no antibiotics. They are humanly raised or humanely raised. They have no nitrates. And this is the main thing. You guys should look up nitrates. Yeah, I'm not going to get into it, but um, just look up nitrates. Um, vegetarian grain-fed diet, which is very important to me, especially because I hate to eat meat, one. But if I have to eat meat, I need it to be the best. And again, this is another chicken and apple. The ingredients, once again, are very, very small, very, very easy to read, and you know what everything is. And sometimes you have to look at the label because sometimes when they say it's um, chicken, they'll be encased in the pork wrapping. So we had to make sure that these were not. We plan on having nachos today and so, and very healthy nachos with the blue chips and all of the veggies and turkey. And so we're using these organic uh, refried beans which of course are vegetarian then I got these little tiny tomatoes normally I would get organic ones but these were actually on sale so I just grabbed these but normally I get the organic ones but these were two for three and yeah next I got this uh, Annie's it is a natural balsamic vinegar no artificial flavor synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives and I got this to top my salad also we got some Publix uh, brand organic salsa again sometimes you know buying organic maybe only two or three cents more than buying non-organic and if you can save a doctor's bill uh, of a thousand or more dollars just to pay an extra dollar or even you know a couple of cents more why not and the rest are just your typical veggies I got some green beans let me see if I can focus here Got some green beans, yep, just onion. green beans, onion, bell pepper, cucumber, stuff to go on top of a salad. And then my baby eats this organic Earth's Best. She has apples, she has pears, she has bananas, she has sweet potatoes, and she loves her peas. And she has carrots. So that's the end of the, this part of the grocery haul. This is just the first part.